All right, guys, I'm back with the Yak Power panel install for the uh, switch panel. For these nav lights, I'm gonna put some uh, midship lights here, and it's also gonna run my fish finder and eventually maybe some USBs, a, a power pole, micro, that kind of stuff, but it's the start of it. And uh, I'm back today just to install this switch panel right here. And we're gonna be putting it right here. Right here, and it's barely gonna fit. You need a two and eighth inch pole saw bit is what uh, the instructions say online. And I've taken it and it's got a little drill bit in the middle. And I take it and I press it real hard and I spin it. Just trying to get a little dimple to get it started so that you're not wobbling all over the place. And I'm making sure that I got enough gap and everywhere. Because uh, once you do this, it's done. There's no second chances in this. And you have a two inch hole in your kayak, which is not good. So measure two, three times, make sure, and then, uh, then cut. But uh, I think we're good. I might come up a little bit just to get it off that bottom. Right there. That should give me enough room in every direction to mount this because there is a little lip. You're cutting out for this. If you guys can see that. And then there's this lip right here. See, this is skinnier than this. So this is gonna sit on the outside. You're just cutting for this. So you wanna make sure there's enough room on the outside of the hole. You're not hitting into stuff like this or this. So this can sit there. But uh, let's get to that uh, pucker effect as uh, some people like to call it when you're cutting huge holes into your kayak. So I'm gonna get started on that. I'm back and I got my drill. Hole saw mounted, and uh, we're going to get started here. That was a lot harder than expected. But we got our circular piece and there's no, no coming back from this one. The hole is there. So uh, I'm saying this bit sucks because it can barely cut through roto plastic. But we're gonna clean this edge up with a little knife. Maybe just trim off just a tad bit more. There we go. Now she is in there. Looks pretty good, I think. All right, with the scary part done, Got that out of the way from the get-go. We're good. Got a big hole, but it fits. And it fits snugly, which is good. But you're gonna wanna keep this just in case you ever have to plastic weld anything. This is plastic that matches. Anytime you take a chunk out of your kayak, you wanna keep it for that reason. It's uh, You can melt it down and plastic weld it, patch holes, scuffs, that kind of thing. Cause it's color matched. So, you know, you don't have to pay for that from the dealer. But then we got all these plugs. It's got five plugs. It's got a B for bow, M for midship, S for stern, and then it's got a one and a two. So you got your bow lights, like I got the nav lights, and if you were running like a Burley Pro Orb in the back, you could use it for that. I just use a Vizi, uh, I think it's a Vizi, car Vizi Carbon, or Vizi, no, Vizi Pole from Yak Attack. 
So that's, that has its own battery. But this is the power brick that you get. And this is what you'll plug your, you can plug this directly into the Yak power box, I think. But this came with the battery adapter that I'm gonna use until I'm able to get the Yak power box where I'm gonna put three batteries in. For now, I'm just gonna run everything on one like I have been. So now you guys can see down in here, got my Hobie battery right there. This is the switch. Here's my light wire, fish finder wire. And then right here, I got the box. And I'm gonna zip tie that in back here so it's out of the way and off the bottom of the hole just in case water gets in there. And then my wires are all gonna be just like that. I think they might be like that. With everything connecting and everything's gonna be tucked up this way. So they also give you three of these. And they're just the SAE ends that plug into the uh, box easily. So I'm gonna have one for my bow lights, one for my midship lights, or my cockpit lights, and then one for my fish finder for now. But you can order these. I think they're somewhere between like five and $10 a piece. They might be cheaper than that, I don't know. Um, but that way it just easily plugs in. It's just plug and play at that point. But yeah, so we're gonna get to wiring and I'll show you guys what it looks like throughout the process. Okay, so each of those little packs comes with a little pigtail and two wire cramps and two uh, heat shrinks. So as you guys can see here, I zip tied it. I changed my original plan of putting it over here. Zip tied it to the bottom of this, it keeps it off the hole and it keeps it right next to the battery box or uh, Hobie battery mount. And then got my port right here with the plug. All my end caps over here and then my fish finder and my bow lights are hooked up. And they can lay just like that. And then this is gonna plug into the battery that sits here until I get the uh, Yak Power battery box. So I'm gonna hook a battery to it and uh, see how everything works out. I'll show you guys the finished product. So you just click it, it all lights up. Click one, and this would be my fish finder. So now I've powered my fish finder. And if you guys watch here, my bow lights, navigation lights come on and it turns red when it's on. See bow lights off, on. And then my fish finder's off. And you can also turn the entire thing off. So right now it's just wired up directly to this battery, but I'm gonna get the Yak Power battery box. Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out. Stay tuned. I think I'm gonna do another video on the midship and cockpit lights that I had planned. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.